My name is Scott Rezac, president of Walkerton Tool and Die, located in Walkerton, Indiana. This is our 60th year in business. We wanted to get into the robot for attending of the machines, but it was too intimidating, cost prohibitive as far as integrating with current machinery. So then when we saw the Haas package come out, that it was all in one unit, same manufacturer, same setup guy, we tried it and we've been happy with the product and we bought another one three months later. How the part used to be run is we do the lathe work, but when it came to a mill, we were doing it on a horizontal. So with the new machine with the fifth axis, we're able to cut down on our number of setups and part holding because of the fifth axis. And it has allowed us to be with the robot 25% more productive from how we were running it before. We've learned over the years with some automation that you're not necessarily trying to beat old cycle times as much as you are trying to be consistently unattended. The ability to have it run and run and run and nobody there has been nice. We do a lot of deburring now in the machine that we didn't do before because when we were on a uh, horizontal, let's say with a fixture, to keep the person from having so much idle time, we would not deburr certain holes and then the operator would deburr them to lessen the cycle time. But now with an unintended machine, we can basically deburr everything. Everything's consistent because we don't have to have a person there anyway. Now the employee can do more inspections and that allows them also to do more difficult jobs that require more of a human touch. So the robots have really taken the repetitive work and done that and allowed the employees to be more efficient. Currently, our one robot has a 51 minute cycle time with a single hand. So when we first bought the robot package, we didn't know much about the arms or the hands. So we just got the single. With the new one, we got the double arm and that saved us about 30 seconds to 45 seconds per part loading time by not having to come out of the workspace as far. So it's really been a cost savings for us with the dual arm. The Haas robot package that we purchased, basically the VF2 with the robot and then the options that they put on there have really been nice. Air through the spindle, the automatic coolant filling, those kind of options you think, well, maybe I won't spend that money on it. But after seeing them, they came on the package, we've used them, they've really helped out and I would buy those options again. When you're doing any kind of automation, chips and shavings are your worst enemy. If you have a air pneumatic vise and you want to consistently put the part in the same spot, obviously if it's sitting on any kind of metal shaving, that's not going to work. The through the spindle coolant has allowed us to wash down the part when we're done and then the through the coolant air blast, we use a small end mill holder as a blow gun basically. So not only are we able to blow off the part, but it also blows any shavings or chips off of the vise. As far as ease of setup for the robot package, it's been very flawless. Being from the same manufacturer, the robot, the base, the programming, the cabling has really made it simple to get up and going. 15 years ago, we had 40 employees doing less sales. Now we have 20 employees with the automation we've done throughout the shop doing more sales. Automation's really been good for our company. Well, with the robots, if, even if night shift isn't working 12 hours and we're not working 12 hours, the robot tables can be loaded up, night shift can leave, and in a couple hours when day shift comes in, they're still running. So we're allowed to run parts with no one here, where before we weren't able to do that. My dad started the company in the, his mother's garage, and now we have 20,000 square feet and we have over 25 CNC machines. We started with an operator running a machine. Uh, we went to horizontals with pallet changers to be more productive. We went to laves with Y-axis, sub-spindles, and bar feeders to be more productive. And now with our newest additions, the Haas VF2 with the robot has really put us in a new level as far as automation on the shop floor. Automation has really 
played a big part in our ability to survive in the business of 60 years and also thrive. And that's what we see as the future to keep in business longer, hopefully another 60 years, and keep automating our shop floor.